What's up? We're here! <laughs> I have an amazing recipe for y'all today. I'm gonna do some manicotti tubes, then I'm gonna brown up some sausage, put that in a mixture of ricotta cheese with cream cheese, put all my herbs, oregano, fresh basil, chili flakes, and I have this amazing salt here that my brother brought me back from Pavi and it is basil parmesan salt. When I tell you that this is always supposed to be in a marinara sauce, it works. I'm gonna get my pot on. Got some roasted garlic here. I used a little bit of my oil too that I roasted it with. I'm gonna get my sausage out. Start getting the meat in. Let that brown. Chop up some of my herbs. I have some flat leaf parsley here. Take like a handful of that. I have some fresh basil, handful of that. And some fresh oregano leaves here. Just give all this a chop. Trust me, it's gonna be that perfect amount for the ricotta and the cream cheese. I'm going in the pot. some chili flakes in there. You wanna get it really, really, really chopped up too. Cause again, this is gonna go in that bowl of ricotta and cream cheese and then that will go into the tubes of manicotti. Got some shiitake mushrooms. Get those chopped. And they hold their bite no matter how long you cook them. They pretty much hold that nice texture to them. All right, in the pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of my basil parmesan salt in there. Just a little. So in this pot, I'm gonna get about five tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna eye that, it's about five tablespoons right there. I pretty much for cheese go by the rule of two cups per cheese. You can go a little more, but never go less than two cups per cheese. And use three cheeses, so that's six cups of cheese to five tablespoons of butter, to five tablespoons of flour, to two cups of milk. That is the ratio for cheese sauce if you wanna make like a bechamel cheese sauce that holds up, easy, easy. Five tablespoons of butter, Five tablespoons of flour. Give that a whisk. Look at that beautiful color. And now I'm gonna get my whole milk in. And then start getting our cheese in. This is Parmesan, smoked Gouda, and aged cheddar. I mean, it just makes the most velvety cheese sauce you'll ever have. Just get that in there, keep stirring. And at this point, you wanna be on a very low flame, very, very low. Add in some more milk. I'm gonna get in the rest of my cheese. And then I'm gonna get my roasted garlic in. Add a quick chop. Parmesan basil salt. I'm gonna add in some of my tomatoes as this cheese sauce is still melting. So I want it to be a cheese tomato sauce, yes. Gotta hit it with the herbs. But I'm gonna add in my ricotta. And my cream cheese. You know what? The rest of the cream cheese needs to go in. It just has to. Nice, that's how we want it. Look at that, every stir, you see everything. Whole family eating. All right, so before I lay in my manicotti, I'm gonna lay in the bottom of the pan a little bit of that cheese marinara sauce. Look at this, velvety. Now 
not too much. You just want to lay a layer so that it can hit the bottom of that manicotti. All right, so now I'm just trying to stuff all of this delicious mixture in these tubes of manicotti. And then just go the other side. I like to make sure that it hits that end point. Why did I make so many? It's just me. It's all of us. <laughs> get this in the oven. On 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is just melty and golden brown and beautiful. Get all that cheese has just crusted at the bottom. Couldn't have asked for a better cheese crust on there. I don't know which one to pick. I should probably just let this cool, but you know me. I risk it all for hot food. And burn my mouth. I'm not even going to take the time to get a knife out and a cutting board and chop any of this and just put some green on there. Well, I'll be damned. Can you see though how the Parmesan is crusted on the noodle, on the sauce? The sauce is just all like, it's cheese. The sauce is cheese, so it's all crusted. You hear that? See that bite? Sausage, mushroom, garlic, basil, pasta cheese. Whatever I just did, that melty look, is how I felt. Look how the sausage and ricotta the cream cheese just comes out of there. I mean, what else do you want in a pasta dish? That hits. Get that recipe, make you some, and I'll see you next time. Wow.